Tutankhamun's winged scar and pectoral, with symbols of the sun and moon. Height, 14.9 cm, width, 14.5 cm. This golden pendant was made using cloisonné technique and is inlaid with semi-precious stones and colored glass. The central element of the composition is a winged scarab of Libyan desert glass. Pectorals like this were usually worn at the midpoint of the chest or breasts. This particular pectoral is a beautiful religious artifact drenched in rich in symbolism. It is also bears excellent testimony to the extraordinary skill of the New Kingdom Egyptian jewelers. This spectacular piece was found in the Anubis chest discovered in the treasury of the boy king's tomb. The central element of the pectoral is a winged scarab made of pure, translucent chalcedony symbolizing the sun at dawn and the god Kepri, the beetle god of becoming. Here, the beetle god of the morning sun supports the lunar boat using its two forefeet made of inlaid lapis lazuli, a semi-precious stone imported from Afghanistan. In the boat is the image of the left eye of the god Horus representing the full moon. It is inlaid with obsidian and calcite and encircled with lapis lazuli. The eyebrow is also inlaid with lapis lazuli, and the gap separating it from the eye is filled with a thick sheet of gold leaf. This eye is encircled by two urii, each surmounted by a gilded solar disc inlaid with glass paste colored dark blue, turquoise blue and red. A gold crescent moon surmounted by a silver lunar disc appears on top of the eyebrow. In the disc, three characters can be seen. They represent the pharaoh, Thoth and Rarity. The pharaoh is shown standing in profile with a disc and a lunar crescent on his head. Thoth, the god of wisdom, writing and knowledge, is depicted with the head of an ibis surmounted by a crescent and a lunar disc, and Rarakti is portrayed with the head of a falcon surmounted by a solar disc. Thoth and Rarakti raise their hands to greet the pharaoh. Two cobras with sun discs flank the eye of Horus, perhaps as symbols of Upper and Lower Egypt or perhaps simply for protection. In the lower part of the pectoral, the scarab has wings and a tail, inlaid with cornelian, turquoise and lapis lazuli. Carnelian was associated with the heart and the resurrection of mummies. Egyptians used it as protection for both the living and the dead. Egyptians called turquoise mefkut, which meant joy and delight. In ancient Egyptian society, turquoise was a protector of all those who wore it. Lapis lazuli was a favored stone in ancient Egypt, where it was believed to lead the soul into immortality and open the heart to love. The back legs of the scarab are transposed into the talons of a vulture, each holding the shen ring of eternity. Threaded through the rings are turquoise and cornelian and flower stems. In the left claws, there are fully open lotus flowers, and in the other, the lotus and buds. The lotus symbolized resurrection and rebirth through the primordial waters of Nun. The gold frame that outlines the main composition supports pendants of lotus flowers, papyrus, and poppy seed heads. Cornflowers symbolized life and fertility because they resemble the blue lotus and are a companion to wheat plants. During the funeral of pharaohs, these blooms served as floral decorations. To the Egyptians, the papyrus became the symbol of fertility and life itself. Poppies were associated with Osiris, the god of the corn and resurrection. In summary, this pectoral symbolizes the two forms of resurrections the deceased king must go through to successfully enter the afterlife. The upper part represents lunar or Osiris resurrection and all that relates to the underworld. The lower part represents rebirth as the sun, through the body of Nut, assisted by the god Kepri who symbolized the sun at dawn.